Hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my makeup rehab for the month of April. For those of you who don't know what a makeup rehab is, it's basically like a low buy but it's structured so for me my makeup rehab consists of having two beauty banks and one is for eyeshadow credits and the other is for everything else <laughs> makeup related and I guess nail polish because I didn't want to make my spending habits on makeup become my spending habits on nail polish. I get bank credits back by using up products completely, but every time I purchase a product, I use up credits. So if I, for example, say I finished a primer, then I get one credit back, but then I buy a bronzer that month, then I have to use one credit. And at the beginning of this year, I started off with 10 credits in each category because I wanted to give myself one exception this year to buy anything I wanted, which was when I was on my trip to Asia. It was actually for my honeymoon, but I wanted to be able to buy whatever I wanted. So I did, and I didn't actually use up 10 credits for my makeup beauty bank, but I definitely went over my credits for eyeshadows when I went overseas because I bought two palettes. One of them is only six pan though. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I have such a strict credit system this year, which is actually working out pretty well because I'm not buying too much stuff. I do have a lot of stuff already though, so that's, I guess, kind of why it's working out. I have some empties, which includes some makeup. Sample sizes don't count towards my beauty bank or against my beauty bank because it's like one week's worth of product, why does it matter? Let's get started with my empties, which I was keeping this and I wipe it down every few months when I notice it's getting grimy. So I always go over empties and purchases for the month, but this month I have no purchases and I'm very surprised because normally there's always a purchase of some kind, whether it be hair care or skin care, but I don't have one this time. so. We're just going over the empties. So something that's almost always in my empties is this bag <laughs> of cotton puffs. And this is from Muji. And I didn't actually pick up any more when I was in Japan. So I think I need to buy some more from Muji later today. These are 100% cotton pads. They are not bleached or anything. They retail for $3.50. I forgot how much I paid for them. Probably $2 each. And... These are amazing cotton pads because they're not bleached or anything and they're not super fancy but they hold your product well so that's why I like them. I'm just going to finish with like go with skincare and then get to makeup at the very end because it's exciting and there's not that many products in here. I also finished up a jar of the Sol de Janeiro Balm Dia Bright Cream and this is my favorite body lotion I've ever used. It makes my skin so smooth. And I think my skin is like dependent on this now because if I try to use other body lotions, my skin just gets very dry and I don't want that. So that's why I have pretty much sold my soul to this company. I wish they came out with bigger jars because I go through one every month or so and that is way too much product to be going through. I think this one actually went with me to both Japan and Taiwan, Mr. Worldwide, but... I really like this. It smells amazing and I also have the body wash which I think will be in next month's empties because it's still in my bathtub and I don't feel like taking it out even though it's like almost done. I'm going to be sharing with you my Sephora VIB shopping cart later today and you'll see that in there. And then I also finished up a peach sake pour serum from Skin Food. I've also used up like a ton of these because this is the only moisturizer I use like specifically the pore serum and I just realized that I bought the emulsion this time because the pore serum was out of stock but hopefully it works just as well this is not the moisturizer this is a serum and it's much smaller but it is much more mattifying that's why I use it as a moisturizer because whatever I put on top of it next like I don't know I feel like this like really locks in my skin and locks in the products under it so whatever I put on on top just like kind of sits on there like my primer or sunscreen I don't know how to explain it but this like also keeps me matte longer so that's why I like it 
even in the winter I wear it. Moving on to makeup, I did finish two primers. The first one is this one size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I believe I got this free with purchase from Sephora. Like, you know, you just enter one of those coupon codes and I don't remember anything too memorable about it, but I did space out my use of it and I don't think it was completely scented. If it was, it was very light because I remember the primer that I'm using currently is very heavily scented and I couldn't really smell that one. So if I had to pick between the two, I would say this one, but I don't really remember anything about it. And then this is going to count towards my beauty bank and I'm going to get a credit back. This is the DHC Velvet Skin Coat Makeup Primer. This is a silicone based primer. I really dislike silicone based primers, so I don't know why I bought this. But I did declutter this once upon a time and then I recluttered it into my collection and I finished it. Towards the end I decided, like not decided, I started to accept it a little bit like okay yeah this is good for my pores and a little would go a long way. I've noticed that when I use other primers now I really have to use way more than I did with this because this would just slide everywhere very easily. But I would never repurchase it because it's very expensive. This is not a full size primer. It was $23 for, for 0.52 ounces or 15 grams if you are, you know, not behind like the US is. And then the last product I have in here is also going to count towards my beauty bank and I'm going to get a credit back is this brow pencil. This is from Kiko Milano. It is my very last product from Kiko Milano. It is their Green Me brow pencil. I stopped buying from this company a long time ago because they became fast fashion and also because they stopped making these brow pencils. So I don't know if you can see but this is a bit of a Project Pan spoiler. There's this like this little white nub at the end of this pencil which I don't think the other pencils had. So I'm getting two credits back this month if I remember correctly which uh, editing me will know. I think I had 9 beauty bank credits, but now I have 11 because I used up two full size makeup products. This looks short because I used it all the way up, but yeah, I I did like this pencil. It didn't really, I'm wearing it today actually, it didn't match me some days, but I feel like it's fine right now. And it was a good pencil while it lasted, but it was up there in age because I went a whole year not wearing this brow pencil because I was working on the pure arch nemesis brow pencil last year, like all of last year. And that $30 brow pencil lasted me a whole year. I was really surprised. So it's well worth your money, but I didn't like the formula of that. But I like the formula of this. Unfortunately, it's a bit more creamy. so. It would be best if you said it, and I don't have that kind of time in the morning. I'm glad it's out of my collection now <laughs> for multiple reasons. Even though I did like it, it's just like, can't support the brand no more, can't even buy it. So, no point in talking it up, you know? So, I have no purchases this month. And today, I will be doing my makeup rehab for the month of May. I always like to start with my empties, so... I guess the first one is this bag of eyeshadow applicators. I know it's not that interesting, but they look like this. This is just the Up and Up brand. And these are great for when you're traveling or if you have like metallic eyeshadows, they apply the shimmer on the best. And I have been doing a lot of traveling and not staying at my own place for the past I mean, I went to Asia and then recently I had to house it, so these came in handy. I don't really love single-use applicators, so I always try to use this for like, I don't know, I flip it. So however many times I can get use out of it, but I always, you know, toss it after a week. That sounds a little gross too, but yeah, I don't like to always be using this, but it definitely helps with like when you're traveling. And then, I'm just going to get all the non-makeup products out of the way. I have a bag of cotton pads from 
Muji. These are my favorite. I swear there's a bag of these in every makeup rehab. This comes with 180 sheets. It used to only cost $2 per bag, but now these are actually $3.50. And whenever I buy these from Muji, I always stock up, so I try to get like 10 packs at a time so I don't have to deal with ordering it again in the future because they like are always out of stock and I don't want to catch them. I don't want to have to buy it when I'm like completely out so I always try to time it right. These cotton pads have like raw edges. They're, just, like, they're not sewn, they're not pressed and they're unbleached. So you will see little bits of like cotton seeds in it but it's totally fine and it's normal and it's just really good. Like compared to like the bleached cotton pads from Daiso, I prefer these a lot more. I feel like they're softer and I just feel luxurious. <laughs> Moving on to a cleansing balm, I finished this one from Nature Republic. It is the Black Charcoal Cleansing Balm for all skin types. I didn't really like this. It came with like a spatula. It's on the lid. <laughs> it's stuck there. And then you just lift this white cap, I guess, and the product's underneath. It's not my favorite. The scent was okay. I just felt like it wasn't very extremely cleansing, but whenever I like would wipe my face with a toner after hopping out of the shower, there would be no product on it. But I always double cleanse, so who knows if, like how effective this is. But I wouldn't buy this again. I prefer my Then I Met You cleansing balm. That one is way more expensive, but also way more effective. Moving on to the... I have two Sol de Janeiro products in here. I finished a Bomb Dia Bright Clarifying AHA slash BHA Body Wash and this is the 13 fluid ounces size. I guess just the regular size. Both my husband and I use this <laughs> and I really like this body wash because I feel like it helps with my keratosis pilaris but you do have to like massage it into your body for like 30 to 60 seconds, so I recommend turning off the water while you use this body wash. And then I also finished up the body lotion of this in the same scent. And there, oh god, it leaked all over the bottom, so I don't want to show you, it's disgusting. There's like product all over it. It smells good, but it, And then I finished up my Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Eye Roll-On with Green Tea Seed. I have repurchased this many times. It's got a roller ball in it. If you take the cap off and you just press the top and product comes out, but this one's empty, so there's no product coming out. I use this in the morning as my morning eye cream, and I really like how, like, cooling it is on my eye bags and also I guess over my eyes because I go in a circle and I'm not sure how effective this is because with me and eye cream I don't use it to you know get rid of dark circles I kind of use it as prevention for the future my eyes don't look dry yet <laughs> so I guess it's doing something moving on to makeup this one's <laughs> unfortunately it's not super exciting but I did finish up the milk makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. This was a 100 point perk from Sephora and it was 4 milliliters. So, tiny and I would never buy a primer with the like points again. I think I would just stick to lip products and blushes or you know like cheek products. So, this I would not buy. I remember it being scented and not really loving it. At least, you know, I didn't buy like a travel size and not like it. At least I, you know, got to try this for free. And the last two products, one is a declutter but the other one is a, I guess, use up. I have the Heroin Make Long Up Mascara, super waterproof mascara and this is what the packaging looks like. It's just like black on gold and I put a cat sticker on it too. Like show which one was open. So the wand is curved. This smells a little bit like burnt plastic. Oh, I guess it's been like open for too long. I find that like it's very easy to go through a tube of this because there's not a ton of product in it. I guess it's so that you, you know, don't hold on to it for a year <laughs> because there's no way this would last a year. So it's one of my favorite mascaras though because it's like the only 
mascara that keeps my lashes curled. The only ones that stay on my lashes because I do have oily mono lids, so it's like double whammy. I find with other mascaras, I usually get panda eyes, but not this brand. The last product is a declutter. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. This was in my oh, Project Pan Roulette for the product Acute Packaging, but I just realized I was never reaching for this. So it's time to say goodbye to it because it's not even from last year, it's from the year before. And I keep buying liquid lipsticks even though I don't like them. It's the same thing with foundation. I know I don't like it, but then I see someone wear it and like rave about it. And so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll like it, but then I don't like it. It was kind of annoying seeing it as a reminder like, hey, you know, you're not using this. And it, I just felt guilty not reaching for it. But then like I would also feel guilty not using the other products that I like way more. So I'm just going to declutter this. So I got one credit back from the mascara. The primer doesn't count because it's just a sample size. So I don't count it when I bring it in. But I don't count it when it leaves either. So there's one credit from that. But for eyeshadows... I did hit pan on two eyeshadows, so let me just grab them. The first eyeshadow pan I hit pan on is in this palette. This is the Milani Gilded Pastel palette. And this was a color that I was working on last year, and I was so close to hitting pan on it. And then I decided to use it one day, and I hit actually ginormous pan on it. So I was happy, but also a little annoyed. The shade is Peacocking, and this is what it looks like. Ta da! It's the one right in the middle. It was so thin at the bottom, and <laughs> I can't believe I only needed to reach for it one more time. This palette, at least from what I've used, is not extremely pigmented. That's like a given because it is a pastel palette. So I find that you do have to use a little bit more, but there's not that much fallout with the mattes, with the shimmers. That's a different story, but overall, I do still like this palette. I don't reach for it all the time because it's pastel and because I get very tan in the summer, but there are some shades in here that I do really like. Okay, and then the next eyeshadow is kind of boring, but it's from my Too Faced Salted Caramel palette, and I just hit pan on this shade right here, which is called Ooey Gooey, and that makes no sense because what the heck. I guess it kind of does. I don't want to explain it too much but I have been trying so hard to hit pan on this shadow and I use it to set my lids with like after I put on eye primer. I know I don't have to and I could use just my setting powder to set my eyelids but I have this color and might as well use it because there's no other purpose for it I guess like yeah, there's just no other purpose for this shade. I wouldn't really use it for anything else other than to set my lids with. And I'm glad I hit pan on it because it's quite old. <laughs> Moving on to the Sephora VIB sale. I did make two purchases, but my second purchase is not here yet. And I only bought one thing for myself. So I would just include it in the June update. But the other products came in. We'll only really be talking about... The interesting things that I got from there so starting with the first product that I put in my shopping cart I remember this being like on the front page I was originally not going to buy any makeup but then I've been doing so well I actually forgot how many credits I have right now I think it's like 12 or something like that but I was like okay I could just buy some things and you know not go overboard because I still want to save enough credits for my birthday month, which is coming up soon. So I ended up picking up three things, I think? Not even. I only picked up two things. So the first one is this Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. And this is what it looks like. So <laughs> it's so short and compact. It looks like there's not a lot of product in there, but there is one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. It's tiny. This looks like, you know, the old school cell phone sizes. It's so cute. But this is actually, you can use it as a serum or after your skincare routine in the morning or at night. So 
I'm counting this as a makeup product though. I'm counting it as a primer because that's like my intended use for this. I'm not going to be using it as a serum because I already have the strawberry serum. So I'm excited to use this, but I'm also wondering if I'm going to have to put on extra sunscreen because if you don't know, if you have like, if you wear BHA slash AHA, you need to have like sunscreen on because it does like not eat away at your skin, but kind of. It's like an exfoliant almost. So you should definitely wear sunscreen because you become more prone to sun getting sunburnt or getting like sun damage. And I have noticed that because I used to not get sunburnt that easily, but I will notice my cheeks like getting red if I don't have sunscreen on now. And I wear I use the strawberry serum like every night, so I have to be more careful now. The second thing I picked up, I don't have the actual product for, but I have the packaging, so we're just going to pretend that it's in here, even though the end is like flopping in the wind. So I also picked up the Boy Brow from Glossier in the shade Black. I don't think I would purchase this again in the future. I feel like it was not as effective as the Too Faced. Is it the brownie brow? It's a brow gel. This one though is so natural and if you have brows like me, which is basically no brows, it's like almost useless on you. So I actually was going to get the shade in brown but then I tested it out in the store a few days before the sale and brown was too warm toned for me and right now it looks like I have black hair even though it's not black hair, it's brown hair but I just felt that black was a better color match for me and to be honest everything I've tried from Glossier has not been the best in my opinion like I tried their, is it Lidstar? their like liquid eyeshadow I didn't really like it and now this is just okay like I feel like you, Glossier is for people who already look beautiful and like have you know who don't really need makeup but it's not working for me so that's a disappointment I'm not going to return it because I think it would still be nice to have but just for like really minimal makeup days or like when I'm in a rush just like put it through my brows which is what I've been using it for when I travel so that's why I don't have it on me because I left it because I left it in my travel bag so the last product that is really interesting not really um is the Evian facial spray this is just water in a can but I read on reddit or something that someone says she really likes this for like spraying throughout the day on her face but also if you're going to do a hair mask or like a hair oil you spray this on your hair beforehand and then you put in the hair oil because it will lock in the moisture so we'll see how this works because I haven't even opened this yet I just did my makeup so I'm not going to use it because I don't want to like you know hold it too close and then spray it and then you know there's a ring on my face where there was makeup so I'm just going to set that to the side. Hopefully in the future I will have like an updated review or it will definitely be in my... I will definitely review it when it's in my empties bin for sure because I feel like at that point you get the most thorough review. That's everything I bought and everything I used up. I don't really have anything on my makeup wish list other than the Too Faced Italian Spritz? Is that what it's called? Palette? And it's not limited edition, so I'm probably going to ask for it for my birthday, not gonna lie, so I don't have to use up my eyeshadow palette, or my eyeshadow beauty bank credits. And right now I only have 12, it's a 18 pan palette, so unless I can somehow use up 6, or hit pan on 6 eyeshadows before, like... My birthday month it's just not happening i will say that progress will be slower for the may you know for the june update because i just feel like i'm not wearing makeup as often right now i'm quite busy and so <sighs> yeah there is not as much time to wear makeup think about editing and i'll be honest like 
I just find like there's less time to edit these days. It's like very difficult for me to get all my work done and hang out with my friends at the same time but I'm hoping to work out a schedule in the future because I do really like editing videos, creating videos because it's just like, I don't know, it, what is it called? It's like a routine and like a sense of stability almost but also like a good creative outlet so hopefully my upload schedule will be a little bit more stable <laughs> after this month but that's everything for this video. Thanks for watching and understanding and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my makeup rehab for the month of June. It's been a long time no see and I have been thinking about filming but I have also been very busy with life and I don't really know that there's much life updates other than I got a haircut and I'm a lot busier at work. Since this is technically like the third video in this video or like I guess the third update I don't feel like I need to explain what a makeup rehab is and I will just start with my empties and because I was editing up until just now I know I have 10 credits in my beauty bank and I have 12 credits for my eyeshadow beauty bank and there's no eyeshadow pans this month but there is an eyeshadow palette so I will get into that later like a purchase and I'm going to start with my empties because I like to go through empties first. I'm looking through here and I see one makeup empty so I'm just going to get it out of the way. This is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and this is the biggest size. So this is the 8.11 fluid ounces or 240 milliliters. This took me like a year and a half to finish. It took me way longer this time around to finish this than the first time I finished one. So this is I think my second bottle that I finished. And I am now testing out other setting sprays because this one has denatured alcohol in it I believe. and. I've just been using it for so many years. It is my favorite. It's like a tried and true. It's a really good, like solid setting spray, but the ingredients, like right now it might not be affecting me, but I don't know if in the future it will. So that's why I'm trying to find an alternative to this, but I can always come back to this later on if, you know, I give my skin a break for a few years or so, because I know this is like a holy grail. So that's the only makeup product <laughs> that I had and I'm getting one credit back for it. I think in the next month I will definitely have, or the next update, I will definitely have a lot more makeup empties. Or not a lot more, but at least one. Moving on to skincare, I have this Nature Republic Peach Skin Smoothing Body Peeling Mist. This is amazing. It's like a chemical exfoliant for your skin, like your body, not your face. Don't use this on your face. If you've ever tried like Cure or like the Skin Food Pineapple Peeling Gel, it's like this but on your body and it is so satisfying seeing like the dead skin cells coming off of your body and kind of like feels like putty when it comes off and it's a chemical exfoliant so you don't have to scrub very hard, you just have to rub where you sprayed this and then your skin comes off. It's so gross but you feel so soft after and make sure to wear sunscreen after you use this or don't go out into the sun if you plan on using this because it is a chemical exfoliant and your new skin will be more exposed to the sun and it's more sensitive so I like to use this once every two weeks or once a month because I forget this bottle went by a lot faster than my other bottles because I actually remembered to use this so I'm on my third or fourth bottle of this ever and it's amazing. I highly recommend it, but be careful when you use it because obviously it is a chemical exfoliant. So do a patch test first and wear sunscreen. It makes your body lotion much more effective too because it's touching your new skin and not like a layer of dead skin cells on top. And you feel really clean after. Wow, a lot of these are cleaning products. <laughs> so by cleaning products and cleansers. So I have two of these Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing balms. I purchased this when I, like right before I went to Asia 
and I took one and I barely used it so then I came back and finished it within hmm, actually I finished them both like relatively recently because one of them was almost empty and the other one was not going to take that long anyways and I had just when I came back I did not use this I finished up my cleansing gel at home before working on these they're okay like not upset with the price I paid but I would not purchase these again for I think they were like $15 each and so like half is $7 but you can get the then I met you cleansing balm for six dollars and I feel like that's way better like it works way better for me and I'm finally back to it because I've gone through all my other cleansing balms and I don't think I will stray from that cleansing balm ever again and the last cleanser god this is gross this is the I'm gonna hold it from here <laughs> cover fx future perfect water optional cleanser this is basically foaming micellar water I would hold it closer but okay here I'll hold it closer this is what it looks like the reason why I didn't want to hold it close like to the camera is because it is filthy. There is a little bit of toothpaste on the back because I kept it in my bathroom. But it's just fancy micellar water. Like, I would not buy it again. I did get it for like a steep discount. I believe it was like only 25% of the original price. So I picked up three or four bottles for, I guess, moisturizers. I have this Trader Joe's Ultra Moisturizing Gel. The packaging is really creepy. This retails for $8.99, so if you pay more than that, you got ripped off. But this is my favorite moisturizer for the night time because it's too thick for the day for me. Like, it's too, I guess, moist as well in the day for me because during the daytime, I prefer to wear a more mattifying moisturizer if that makes sense like it dries down better and I feel like my products stick to it better versus or stick to my skin better versus this it kind of just slides around this is supposed to be a dupe for Lemur, which I've also never tried so I don't know if it's actually a dupe but it works really well the price is really good and both my husband and I use this when he remembers too so it's more like I feel like he remembers 1% of the time, like he will remember after I point out how dry his skin is. Because it's a gel moisturizer, it's not really the best for dry skin. I feel like I've heard reviews from people with dry skin saying that they don't love it. But I have oily skin, I really like it, it keeps me moisturized but like without feeling greasy. Okay, and then I have a Sol de Janeiro Balm Dia Bright Cream. I. <laughs> I purchased 10 of these during the Sephora VIB sale. Empty. It smells delicious. If I shower in the morning, which I don't normally do, like this smell is definitely really strong, but I think after overnight it's not as strong. Although my friend has pointed out before that it does smell really good when we were at the office, so I don't know <laughs> if it's like that all the time or just that day I happened to put it on. A little bit later than my other days I usually shower at night but yeah it's a tried and true it's great for keratosis pilaris and after using that I cannot go back to any other body lotion I have to just use this one but I feel like the light pink one the beige of floor is a lot more moisturizing I use that one on my stretch marks and it has definitely made them go down so I might try it on the rest of my body because I did purchase one at the end of the Sephora VIB sale. I believe I referenced it, but I referenced it in my last update, but it was not makeup, so I am not including it in this video because it's not that interesting. So I used up one makeup item, so I get one credit back, so I'm up to 11 products now. And this month, June, is my birthday month, so I'm going to talk about present. I guess I'll start off with purchases. So I got a haircut recently, like I said, and there's no longer any, I guess, blonde slash gray hairs or highlights to my hair, which is a little bit sad because I really liked it. And I have been in denial for so long that I inherited my dad's hair genetics because I want my mom's hair genetics. It's really soft and fluffy and it's like a brown color. But my hair is clearly black and it's 
thick and it's not that soft. So I got my dad's hair genetics. I went to a bougie hair salon for like the first time in my life to get a haircut. Last time I went there, it was to dye my hair and then this time it was to get a haircut because my sister-in-law who is into beauty, she told me that I should go to a specialist at least once in my life so that they could like tell me the condition of my hair, give me like a very flattering cut and also like tell me which products to use. And so I go and cut off the rest of my highlights from two years ago and then I asked her if I needed anything for my hair because I felt like it was getting thin and she said, <laughs> you don't need anything. So I was like, okay, I just paid like a hundred bucks for this. I thought it was funny that she told me I didn't need to treat my hair with anything because it was perfectly healthy, especially after cutting off the damaged ends. I think that was like the biggest thing. She did tell me though to use a treatment whenever I blow dry my hair, so I bought one. This is the Keratase, I hope I'm saying that right, K Resistance. It's a length carrying gel cream, blow dry for healthy looking lengths. This is fragranced and I used it earlier this week when I washed my hair and my hair felt really soft after. And it smelled good, but I use Olaplex, so it already but I use Olaplex, so my hair already smells good, no matter what. But I feel like this smelled until the next day. Like, you could still smell it. It was scented, not smelly. And so I've only used it once. Hopefully, it makes my hair stay healthy longer and I don't get split ends. Yeah, that's why I purchased this. And my friend recommended this product specifically. And she has really long, healthy hair. So I figured I could trust her recommendation. We have a similar hair type. And then I did purchase the Evian, Evian, whatever, facial spray in the Sephora VIB sale. And I liked it so much that I bought a three pack of the mini. <laughs> These are so much cuter than the big can, but this was like 20 something dollars. It says one simple spray, endless benefits. And this is just so refreshing, so I figured it would be perfect for the summer to keep my skin hydrated and to kind of cool me off because this water is kind of cold as well. And I'm just going to keep a bat. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep one in my work bag, in my like going out bag, and then I guess one backup or if a friend asks for one, I will have an extra one. But I guess I only needed to buy two, but the three pack was a better deal, so that's why I picked those up and that was from Sephora and then I got an Ulta gift card for my birthday and I was like perfect I can use this to buy whatever I want for myself and it won't count against my beauty bank because it is a present last month I said that I really wanted the Too Faced Italian spritz palette and actually been saying that since I saw it so I got it and this well, luckily it doesn't count but I hope that it's not like open because I see glitter right there so I'm like oh did it spill I hope not because usually if you see powder that means it broke this was not discounted or anything but I figured I wanted this for so long I might as well just buy it now and this is what it looks like so it's back to the middle pan and I heard so many good reviews about this and I was trying so hard to hit pan on my eyeshadows for this product it smells so good actually Oh, it smells like peaches. At first I thought this was an open product, which is why I was like a little bit hesitant because it did not come with the plastic sheet, but I can see that the uh, mirror plastic is still on there, the protective cover, and it does not look like it's been touched in any shade, so this might have been a return, but it looks untouched, so I'm still going to use it. Oh my god, this smells so good. This smells way better than the peach palette. <laughs> wow, okay. I cannot wait to play with this. This is so pretty. Actually, opening it and looking at it in person, it does look like a mostly neutral palette, but these are like colors that I enjoy. And I love Too Faced's formula. I've heard this is like the formula of this is better than it's ever been, so, or has been in a while, so. I'm excited to try this out. I'm probably going to play with it later today. I got the Milani Universal Eyeshadow Primer because 
this has replaced my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I am almost done with my current one. Where'd it go? As you can see, there's not much left. So I bought this to replace this, but it'll still probably be a month or two before I buy this, or finish this. There was a 20% off coupon, and this is like $9.99 at Ulta, but at Target it's $7.99. So I figured if I just buy this from Ulta right now, I can get it because I need to buy one in the future anyways. And I can get it at the same price as from Target. But if I wanted to buy this by itself in the future from Ulta, I would have to like pay for shipping or like go in person to the store. So I figured might as well just buy it now. It still won't count against my beauty bank because I used gift card money to buy this. So that's nice that I don't have to count this as like a beauty bank credit and I can use that for something more fun. And then Ulta had a if you spend $60 or more you get a skincare bundle. So I spent like $61. That's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to enjoy editing this for a while. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in July. Bye!